The health ministry revealed today that about 60% of cancers in Malaysia are detected at late stages, at stages 3 and 4. Its Minister Datuk Sri Dr Zulkifli Ahmad said among the main contributing factors for late detection is the lack of awareness on the importance of screening and early detection amongst Malaysians. In his message in conjunction with the World Cancer Day today, the Health Minister said a critical aspect to be highlighted in cancer prevention and control is the importance of early detection. Dato Sri Dr Zulkifli pointed out that cancer is the second highest cause of death among Malaysians. The three most common cancers among men in Malaysia are colorectal, lung and nasopharynx, while the three most common cancers among women are breast, colorectal and cervix. He said the figures are expected to increase in the near future, attributable to the high prevalence of non-communicable diseases, risk factors and an ageing population. Datuk Sri Dr Zulkifli said his ministry provides screening for four types of cancers at government health clinics nationwide, namely breast, cervical, colorectal and oral cancer. According to him, screening for specific cancers such as liver, prostate and nasopharynx for high-risk individuals are available at government hospitals. In addition, he said Skim Paduli Sehat for the B40 group, the Perka B40 scheme, which will be implemented next month, provides health screening services, medical aid, incentives for cancer treatment and transportation fare support. Meanwhile, the My Salam National Protection Scheme was introduced to help the B40 group by providing medical protection in the form of financial assistance in the event of an emergency or 36 critical illnesses, which also include cancer. He also noted that it is the responsibility of each and every one to play their part to reduce the burden of cancer in the country. And now to get more insight into the matter, joining us on the line now is Dr. Chandra Shaker Hospet, a clinical oncologist from the Nilai Medical Center in Nagari Sembilan. Now, good evening, Dr. Chandra. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on World Cancer Day. So the first question is in regards to education. What are the factors that can influence the likelihood of people to go for cancer screening and get cancer treatment in Malaysia? Would you say it's education or accessibility to healthcare facilities or perhaps even social cultural factors. Hello, Doctor. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Doctor Chan uh, Doctor Chandra Shekha. Yeah, good evening, Doctor Chandra. Sorry, the line's a bit bad. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to repeat my question again. Um, what are the factors that can influence the likelihood of people to go for cancer screening and get cancer treatment in Malaysia? Would you say it's education or accessibility to healthcare facilities or perhaps even social cultural factors? I think all the factors are uh, responsible for the lack of uh, people going for the cancer screening. Because the uh, first thing is people should be educated because uh, after the cancer screening, once they are detected, what can be done and then how effectively it can be treated if it is detected early, it should be educated. And uh, after getting educated, we need to get these people to go for the screening, the accessibility. And uh, in the rural area, accessibility is a problem. And oh, social cultural factor also influences because the fear of cancer words, the stigma attached to it, uh, the people don't go for the screening because there is a fear and anxiety. What fear, if I'm yeah. detected by cancer? That's the fear. Okay, fear and anxiety are very good points. Also, what are the kinds of efforts and initiatives that can help increase public access to information about cancer and cancer screening amongst the rural population, are there any cancer screening awareness campaigns that are being carried out now? Yeah, there are quite a few cancer screening programs available in Malaysia, especially for the women cancers like uh, cervical cancer and then the breast cancer. There is a big uh, uh, awareness program held across the country. But unfortunately, it happens only in the rural, uh, urban areas. It should reach to the rural population and they are the ones to be educated. 
Okay, um, thanks a lot, Dr. Chandrasekhar. Yeah. And now, last but not least, considering that about 60% of cancers in the country are detected at late stages, what are some urgent steps that should be taken in Malaysia to raise awareness of the disease and speed up diagnosis so that we can transform the outlook for the number of people affected by cancer? I think it is the integration of the existing facilities, like the primary healthcare uh, practitioners or healthcare providers should be orientated towards the cancer and uh, they should be incorporated into the program. And then the private participation as a corporate social responsibility, the private hospitals, insurance agencies and other corporates should come forward to supplement and then assist in uh, uh, disseminating the knowledge and then the bringing more people to the uh, cancer screening. And the benefits of cancer screening, the early stage detection and then the effective treatment and then they can survive longer. This has to be done in a very massive scale across the country, especially to the rural area. That will be a boost to fighting the cancer. Okay, thanks so much. I'm afraid that's all the time we have today, Dr. Chandra. But thank you again for those insights. And that was Dr. Chandra Shaker Hospet, who is a clinical oncologist from the Nilai Medical Center.